Hi everyone, let me show you how to set up any version of Raylib with Visual Studio in a few steps. First of all, open GitHub Raylib. Then let's go down to the release and choose Raylib. Now let's scroll down to the bottom and we have all these options. What we really need is the Raylib 5.5 Win32 or Win64 MSVC, depending on your version of Windows. In my case, it's this one, the Win64. So let's download it. I already downloaded it, so let's go to write it. Here it is, and then extract. I already did. When you open it, we'll find these files. We will need them later, especially the include and like. Now let's open Visual Studio and let's create a new project. Go to C++ and choose an empty project. Let's name it Raydeep Project Create. Oh, I already did so. Let's actually change it a little bit. Create. Now let's go to source file and create our main CPP file. So new and let's choose main. Let's write main. Okay, add it. Now let's go to Rayleigh project and go to its properties. Inside here, let's first go to C slash C plus plus general. Okay, now let's go to our include. Open it, then copy the path. Then let's go back and paste it right here. And then let's go to linker. Inside linker, general of course, let's go to the library directory here. So let's go back here and choose library and copy the path. The same thing, pass it right here. In linker, let's go now to input. Inside input, let's go to these additional dependencies. And here we will write this. Let's like, okay, and write it's raylib, point lib, semicolon, then win mm, point lib, semicolon. And let's apply. Of course, I will put this either in the comment or in the description down. And let's press OK. And now for the moment of truth, let's do a lot of code. Of course, you need to include Rayleigh point H and I already did this code for a small game. So let's try it. And here we go. Now Raylib is working just fine for you. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from this video. If you want to learn C++ and Raylib, I hope you tell me in the comments. So I will maybe start in the future doing a series to teach you C++ and Raylib. Thank you for watching.